Master Hader, is this thing on? But yeah, I told you millions of times, never touch the camera. Hey guys, I'm back. You know, the other day I realized that everybody in this world lives for one thing. To satisfy their desires. I don't see what the big fuss is about. Everybody was born with desires, said the ignorant one. Yes, it's true. There are good desires and there are bad desires. But, the bad desires are the ones that are ruining our lives. Now I'm going to show you a video and you tell me if this reminds you of yourself or someone you know. Hello, my name is Aladdin and I need the help. You want me to bring up higher? Good? Okay. My bad desires, they make the ruin of my life. I make the gambling at the casino and I lose my savings. I get jealous from cousin, so I call the cop and I tell the cop that my cousin has a bomb. But I lied. I had the bomb. But anyways, now I do the pro pro prohibition. I go to club, I drink, and the cop catch me drunk. Now license no more. And I make the shit on my wife with rabab. Man, that ankle was so hot. But hot ankle make my wife go bye bye now. Now she want divorce. Now I smoke the hashish to forget about my sucky life. We can't have this here. But I thought that Trump makes it legalized. Damn right your life is sucky. The idea is that almost all of us have that one desire that affects us negatively. Things like greed, lust, anger, jealousy, and so on. And the one thing that all of these desires have in common is that they feel really good during the moment and then they leave you in guilt and regret after fun times over. But there's a reason why we all go after these harmful desires. Because we use them as quick and easy fixes for the problems that we're going through. For example, you feel like you don't have any money? Let's go gamble. You want to please your sexual desires? But hey, <laughs> you don't want to commit. Let's sleep around. You want to forget about your relationship or personal problems? Eve, let's get drunk. I'm so lightweight that I get drunk from pop. Someone really pissed you off and you just wanted to fix them up. And I don't mean like turn him into a Calvin Klein model fix up. <laughs> I mean like fix him up. Hey fellow over there holding the camera, listen, if you make fun of my New York accent one more time, I'll clean the snot you. What? What I say? I say snot. He, uh, he has a runny nose. I was gonna wipe it off. The irony is, all these things that we do to make us feel better, end up making us feeling empty. Gambling, fornicating, that means sleeping around for you newcomers. Alcoholing and getting angry at people is like drinking Diet Coke to kill your sugar craving. You're not solving the root of the problem. Now let's talk about a girl we call life. You know when people say life's a... A B? Well, in case you didn't know, her real name is Dunya. And Dunya was specifically built to have us chase our bad desires. And right now, we're living in Dunya's home. All of us, under her roof, under her rules. But sinners, however, love this life because she satisfies their every bad desire instantly. And they get whatever they want on one condition. Make a vow that this is the life they want and this is the life they want to live in. The good people, on the other hand, might desire something else, like a home next to God, or an afterlife that's way better than this one and don't plan on staying in this life forever problem is when you don't want dunya well then dunya just doesn't want you and that's when life really gets hard it's like her way of trying to kick you out now there are two ways to survive this home we call dunya the obvious one is to love her desire her commit to living in her Ooh, 
and to remember to sin every hour. She hates when you skip playtime, but this choice might grant you an eternity of torture. No pressure. Now, if you don't want to do any of these things, then your solution is to meditate. And yes, I said meditate. Ever wondered why Asians seem to smile the most and look like they can give two forks about their personal problems? Because meditation and reflection is a necessary everyday practice for a Buddhist. When you meditate, you block off all your bad desires such as greed, lust, bad envy and anger and you focus on the good desires like more love and peace or a cleaner heart. Point is you're concentrating on anything that has nothing to do with this crazy girl's home. Oh yeah. Screw you, Dunya. <sighs> Whoa, did not see that coming. Are you freaking serious, man? Is this the best solution you have? Meditation? Yup. That's why Muslims do it five times a day. Allow me to explain before I lose an arm. Throughout our day, we get hit with all types of stresses and problems like going through a breakup, struggling to pay bills, struggling to ace tests and exams, hating our job and the people we work with, or my favorite, figuring out what we want to do in our lives. These problems hurt so much that we sometimes don't want to face them. So we turn to things that cover up the wound like drinking, overeating, fornicating, gambling, or doing drugs. But like I said, we only cover the wound. So when fun time's over, the wound becomes bigger because not only we didn't solve the root of the problem, but we turn to a solution that hurt us even more. So when we turn to meditation or prayer, we block off the negative in our lives, focus on the positive, and remember two things. These struggles are directing us to a better path, and that whatever you're going through is only temporary. So when pain strikes, you have one of two options. Either you let your pain lead you to desires that are going to harm you, or you let your struggles make you stronger and you pick yourself back up. You decide. Hey fellas, how you doing? The name's Sylvester, but you can call me S for Sylvester. And that's how you survive life's desires. Now listen, my boy over here, Hada, he's trying to do something over here. So if you like the video, like it. If you have something to say, comment on it. And give this video a share, will ya? Because I swear I'll slap the baloney out of you so hard, dogs will be looking for you. What? What I do? I said, slap the baloney. I'm feeding the dogs. I'm trying to solve world hunger here.